For this next drawing we're going to do what we call a chamfer which is sort of a rectangular shape with an edge cut off. So we're going to place our dot again slightly left to the centre, drawing our Y up, step 2, drawing our V, step 3, drawing in our book cover, step 4, boxing in the top, and step 5, making it look like a cube of ice. So you can see we've got that rectangle shape there. Now, again, we're going to do some stuff to a couple of the faces. So we're just going to outline these here, just like we did with our cylinder. So whatever we do to the front face, we must do to the back face. I know they look slightly different in shape, but that's because of the perspective look. But this is face one, green one in the front. Face two is in the back there. Now all we're going to do is this line here, we're going to mark halfway. So we do the same to our back line. And this line here, we are just going to go, we're going to imagine if we divided that into four equal parts, probably about a third of the way along. So about there, if we were going to divide that into three equal parts, and same on the top over here, about a third. If that was two thirds, we've divided up to a third in the corner. Now it's very simple from here. All we're going to do is draw a line up through here and draw a line up through here. You can notice that I'm doing this quite slow and controlled because that will be a firmed in line. This one here is also a firmed in line which I'm connecting. And what I've effectively done as I firm that in, it now looks like a bit of a rectangle with an edge cut off it. So a bit of a chamfer on the edge. We are now going to just firm in the rest of our lines nice and carefully, remembering we only firm in lines that we see as part of our shape. And then it's a matter of adding the colour into it. Like so. And I might just go over this guy again. Just to make it stand out. So now it looks sort of like a rectangle, but it's got an edge cut out. And again, once we add our whiteboard to draw the eyes attention in, and we also do our colouring. So we're going to do this one in pink, one for the girls. And we're going to colour this in nice and rough, sketch it in. Like so. I'm going to grab the purple, do the same. Remembering that to create a bit more of a 3D dimensional effect, you can always go a bit lighter in the center of some shapes, like so. And we've got our basic shape there. Now, what we're going to do just to finish this guy off is grab our whiteboard marker, go carefully around the outside edge, remembering that we just whiteboard if we were asked to cut it out so we don't do all our lines. And then we're going to do our drop shadow as well which is going to come out off our shape. And you can notice I kind of I've tried to make it so it angles off a little bit as well to reflect the shape that we've got. Yeah so we can extend that out a little bit longer and it should hopefully be matching up with what we see. So that's a chamfered edge, quite simple, like a rectangle or a cube with an edge cut off it.